Hi, in this slide I want to address the praise tight weight wad problem solution. Uh, whenever I've put uh, one of these catch them doing thing right, praising good news bulletin um, systems in place, uh, I will always smoke out a few people and who are very responsible, competent, you know, good expertise, uh, kind of manager, supervisor people who don't like it. And, you know, the reaction is kind of like, well, what, what, why do we need to do this? This is, this is unnecessary because their feeling is everybody knows what the rules are and they know that if they do certain things, they get rewarded. If they don't, they don't. Uh, so they don't want to baby anybody and they don't want to sort of state the obvious. Now you might say, well, you know, how come you're, you know, sort of uptight about this? I mean, you know, let's go through the philosophy and, and truly if praising statements, you know, are meet the right conditions have the right format and so forth, you have any, you know, well, they, they kind of intellectually understand that, but emotionally they're just saying no. And, you know, I, I think most likely the reason is that's, that's the way they were raised. And, uh, they, in spite of, of, of kind of having some mean-spirited or unforgiving or perfectionistic, critical kinds of bosses, supervisors, parents, whatever, growing up, they had the, uh, the constitutional willpower to sort of suck it up and, and just move on and succeed in spite of that. And uh, they kind of just don't see the need. And I, I think part of also, if I jump down here below, is they see others' low willpower is kind of a character flaw as opposed to, well, you know, there's a total continuum of willpower. Go to YouTube, click, type in marshmallow test and watch the test they give to four-year-olds is that for their ability to sit for 15 minutes out of mar in front of a marshmallow all by themselves there. You can, you can, they videotape these through a, a you know, a, a one-way mirror type of thing and, and, and watch what's going on. And it turns out that, that, that kind of willpower is just, at that point, kind of genetic in, in the person. And people that genetically have willpower tend to do very well in life. It doesn't mean, though, that it can't be developed. It's like a muscle. And uh, so we're all about uh, habit reformation and improving the endurance of everybody's willpower, wherever it is. We're not going to make a you know value judgment on that. Um, and uh, there are other problems uh, that these, these, these tightwads have. They, they, if you kind of sort of say, well, 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 how come you got this problem? Well, you know, when I came here five years ago, I had to report to some guy and they were mean and whatever. And I had to, I had to suffer and I didn't get to move along very quickly because the company was kind of dysfunctional before you came in here and put in this new order of things. Um, and, and also, so if I suffered, maybe they, they should suffer. Also, I'm a bit envious because since you've come here, things have sort of improved so quickly. Why should the new people succeed so much more quickly and make so much more money, so much more seemingly effortlessly because of a better kinetic chain, really, if you think about it, and have so much more fun than I did? I, I, I am angry that I had a lower trajectory and a lower success rate for all of my willpower and effort that I put in. And again, this is a fixed mindset. It's sort of like, well, yeah, okay, that's fine. But, but now you're part of the new order too. And with your willpower, so you're going to be doing just great. You know, the pie is expanding for everybody. You're, you're doing well too. Well, yeah, but I, 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 I can't forgive what didn't happen in the past. And so that's the, the sort of the welter of emotions that are going to come out from praise tightwads. So what's the solution without getting becoming any, any psychodrama and specific case studies and so forth? They say, look, let's just name what the problem is, which is I have problem giving people praise. Secondly, say, okay, I, 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 I admit I, I'm a praise tightwad. And now what happens is that individual has got to deal with it um, because otherwise they have a quota. And we're trying to promote mastery and we're trying to promote, you know, a, a open mindset and path and all that sort of stuff. So basically our new value here in this culture is to get with the program or get out. And sometimes people, these kinds of people don't last. They have to get out. Um, so at any rate, that's a, 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 a problem to anticipate. And these are some guidelines for how to solve it. Thank you.